how you going folks um welcome back as you can see we now have the greatest pennant number of any warship placed on the uh forecastle of warship darwin that means the build is complete um got all the decals on um, done some some weathering and panel marking just adds a little bit to it got skippy now I've just got to do the um, the final clear coat let me just turn this around got my hands look old <laughs> so there we go there as well, zero four. Pretty impressed with the build, but I'm not really all that impressed with the actual kit. Um, you know, most ships you'd have at least a molded uh, anchor cable. So fix, just fix that bit. You'd have a molded anchor cable, and You'd have an anchor in the kit, but there's no anchor in this kit. And as you can see, there's no uh, molded cable. Yes, you can buy upgrades, but for the money you spend on these things, I mean, this was what, 70 bucks, I think. So the money you spend on these things, you'd think, you know, you'd have a bit of, um, at least a bit of molding for an anchor cable and an anchor in the actual kit. Um, but the rest, yeah, I'm not too, not too unhappy with. It's, I mean, it's a kit. It, it's a build. It's a, I'm happy, sort of happy with the build. You know, it could even be here. Something to put on for the rope. Cause there used to be a rope um, gate there. Um, but yeah, it's not too bad. So... Now I'll just do a, another clear coat, and that would be it. Just ordered a whole heap of, oh, there we go. That's my, uh, my paint thing from Vallejo. Put that together. Huh. Got another eight paints. I've got to go pick them up today, hopefully. So I can start on my um, next massive build which won't be a continual build. I've got another two models coming. I've got a um, F-111 Pig and an Iroquois helicopter, which um, an uncle of my father's, Uncle Roy, he was a, um, he got out as a wing commander of the Air Force. He, um, he flew in Vietnam and Korea, and he received a pretty impressive medal. I'll go into a bit of a story about him once I start building the Iroquois, about how he got this medal, and yeah, it, was, it was a nice old bloke. So I'll just do a, um, <clears throat> excuse me, do a copy of a quick video of the clear coating, and um, that'll be it. So, you. So there you go. Um, Warship Darwin clear coated, finished, and uh, ready for my shelf over there. So yeah, so it's a good good build, I think. Like I said, could be a few other bits and pieces on it, but. It's a kit, so, and you can buy extra, which I won't want to do. So if you look at the superstructure there, see all the panel work, all the weathering and the vents, all the weathering. I'll try to make it a little bit more realistic. And up on the stack, a fair bit of weathering in there, just all along. 
along with boat debt and this weathering and yeah so that's that done so let's bring on the next build so i've got to uh do a bit of housework today got an inspection tomorrow so i'm gonna do a bit of cleaning my awesome mother's coming around to give me a hand with that so i'm gonna buy her lunch um yeah then tonight i'll probably go to my uncle and auntie's for dinner and then i'll come home and I'll start masking up the massive, massive Mighty Mo. So I hope you've enjoyed this build of HMO's Darwin. Didn't tell too many stories because that could be bad. Um, I did have a few blokes ask me not to tell stories. <laughs> so um, none of them bad. There's nothing illegal, nothing silly went on, but yeah, the trip up to Asia in 2000 was was a good one. We went to Pattaya in Thailand, Hong Kong, um, two ports in South Korea, two ports in Japan and the Philippines, in Manila, Makati. Also went to, um, that's where Andro's from, is, is a Filipino. You, Andro, how's it? Um, they also went to India in 2001 and prior to that we were up in East Timor in 99 that was my first time um, away from home for a long long period so actually I was up there with a the dislocated shoulder and after our first rotation I got sent back home to to Perth to have another shoulder reconstruction on my right shoulder um, yeah, so that was that. So, yep, I won't have any big stories to tell about the Missouri. So we'll just talk about what, what I'm doing at the time. So yeah, hope you like I said, I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you for the next one. Yeah.